What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be pole fishing down the canal, right here. So I'm going to set up my pole and I'll be with you in a second. The line attached to the end of the pole now and I'm about to get fishing. But first I'm fishing on some eight pound line with a size 16 hook. It's only little, but it's good for little fish in the canal. So that's good. And this pole is three meters long. So it's just the right size really to get out into the middle of the canal. And um, yeah, so I'm going to put a worm on today. I've run out of maggots and um, hopefully catch some fish. So I'll see you in a second. Put the worm on the hook with a little callosis maggot that I had left in my little pot here. And um, this worm is only a little one. I've, ra I've double wrapped him on the hook so he is less likely to slip off in the water. And I'm, gonna, I'm now going to put my rod out and catch some Hole fish. It's now in the water. We're looking good. The hook is sank to the bottom and um, we're fishing, so I'll let you know when I catch some. Slight problem. I've currently left the rod in the water, but as you can see, slightly down there, there is a barge on its way up, which is no good because it'll scare all the fish off for at least 10 minutes. So, oh, saying that, I have just had another boat, so hopefully I catch one just before the barge comes and I'll show you the fish. Right, guys, the barge has just come past, he's right there and he's as you can see, the water's rippling on that. I've kept my rod in, but I'm not sure I catch anything for a good while now, because that would have scared all the fish and everything off, stirred up the bottom of the water. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but you up approximately right there. You can see all the brown stuff coming up off the bottom, all the gunk, and it's horrible. So you can't really catch nothing in that. So I hope to get something within the next half an hour I'd say and I'll let you know when I get something oh, I know at this part of the canal as well just a little bit down there I've had some massive fish before so hopefully we get one of them today in my float and because on the float all the sun's shining right there as you can see and I've just seen a massive fish swim right past my float I'd say it was a good 50 centimeters long maybe and I've just seen him swim past my float so hopefully I'll catch him. He was massive. And he's just, he went a bit further over that way, actually. He must have been scared by something. But if we get him, that'll be a good one. Right, guys, so what I'm doing here, I've just gathered any remaining dead maggots out of my pot, and I'm just gonna bait up the spot right here. I'm just gonna chuck them in where my float is, and that should attract some more fish. Right, guys, so I've been in this spot now for about 20 minutes, I'd say, and I've had, I've had a few bites in the first five minutes and then absolutely nothing after that. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to move down about 100 yards to where there's this stump. So I can I can sit on that as well, so I don't have to stand. And um, over there is also where I used to go and catch quite a lot of fish. So I'll be over there in just a second. I'll set up and I'll see right, you in a So I've moved spots. I've moved to the stumps and I'm fishing up and Floats in the water, worms still on. We're all good. I've got my tackle all there, worms there. Should have a fish soon, hopefully. So I'll let you know if I do get one. I've been fishing for ages now. And I was contemplating leaving. And then I pulled, it, uh, pulled my rod out of the water and I, and I realised I hadn't set the depth of the water. So I wasn't on the bottom of the canal. And that's probably why I wasn't catching anything. So I've set the depth now. Got another worm on because I had to rip the other one off, throw him back in. So I suppose he's baiting up the spot a bit. And um, yes, yeah, so I'm on the bottom now, and hopefully I'll catch something. Pulled the rod up. I had a massive bite, and I've got a little perch on the end of the rod. I'll get him off, and I'll show you what he looks like. They're pretty cool fish perch. Right, guys, this is the perch. Perch have got big fins. They got spike on the top of them. I'll see if I can get him to pop it up. He'll pop it up in a second. But this is the perch. He's a little one, but he's quite nice. They're nice fish. They've got a cool pattern to them. They sort of look like a bass, a bit, but look at his mouth, he's got a big mouth on him, this one has. See if I can flick him and get it, see his fin, it's coming up, but that goes all the way up, and they look really cool when it's up. But for this one, I'm gonna release him now, and if I catch another one, you'll probably see his fin, come on, ready? So see this little one go. Go on, boy. Off he goes. So I'm gonna put the rod back in the water and I'll see you next time I catch a fish, hopefully. I've just had a massive fish on the line. Absolutely huge he was. 
I'd say he was about 60 centimetres long. He must have been that fish I saw swimming across the top earlier because he was huge. I was pretty gave me a right fight. I had him hooked. Bob went down. I lifted up. It, the rod was bending everywhere. And I got the fish to the top of the water right there. And he just snapped off and swam away. But he was huge. I don't know what it was. It was either a monster putt. No, not a pike, a monster perch or a massive car. If I'd have got that fish up, that would have been amazing. That would have made my day. But hopefully, I've got, I'm back in the water now and hopefully I'll get him again. See if I can show you guys. Fish I was looking for, but I've got another perch on the line. He's a little one, not the same one I caught last time. He's a bit bigger actually. And he's a nice little one, so I'll get him unhooked. See if we can get him here. Get him unhooked and I'll show you. Here he is, here's the perch. He's this one has his fins up this time. He's proper big and he's got a really lovely pattern to him this one. Has. He's quite a decent sized one as well for the canal anyway. But the one I had just hooked, if that was a perch, he was huge. So I'm gonna release this little guy now. Show you him here. Ready? Off you go, little one. And there he goes. So I'm gonna whack the rod back in the water and hopefully pull one out again. This is a great time fishing. Pull up this one as well. Nice little perch again. I've had three perch today, this is a good day. And one massive carp on the other line, I think it was in there. So I'm gonna release this little man, really. And yeah, nice it's one. Better. I've got another perch on the line. This is the fourth one today. He's, they're all different ones as well. They're all different sizes. This one's a little bit smaller than the last one I had, but he's still pretty neat. So I'm gonna get him unhooked. Well, show you. I finally got him unhooked. He, he, he was a bit of a dodgy hook. I think I gut hooked him, so I had to get the little plier thing out and get it unhooked. But he's unhooked now. It took a while, but he's fine. And I'll pop him back in the water now. So I'm going to pop him in the shadow a bit because I don't, I don't know if he's all right or not. Ready? Oh, he'll swim off in a second. Maybe not. Hmm. Well. Oh, there he goes, he swam off now. Thank God, I thought he'd died for a second. Right then, guys, I'm gonna be ending today's video here because it's been a pretty successful day. I've been at about two hours now and I've had, I've had four or five, I can't really remember which number it is. <laughs> I think I've had four or five perch. Pretty good, I think. And I had that monster one on the line. Unfortunately, didn't get it. If I'd have got that, that would have been amazing. But then, I'm going to end it today. See you guys in the next video. Make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Leave a load of likes if you love this video. Make sure to subscribe. Help out my channel a bit. And um, post notifications on so you get notified every time I post. And yeah, that's that then. I'll see you guys in the next video. So peace.